Warning, this video contains drinking and swear words. If you're a child or naughty language bothers you, this isn't the video you're looking for. And I could probably make a sailor blush this video. Welcome to another episode of Comic Book Storytime, where we take a single issue and we end up talking about it. This could be an origin story or just a random comic story that I really like. Today we're going to be talking about Doctor Strange's first appearance in the comics, and that was in Strange Tales number 110, released in 1963. So, grab your adult beverage and let's start. Somewhere in the city between darkness and dawn, a tortured man tosses fitfully in his bed vainly seeking peace that will not come. The man cries out, No! No! Go away! Please, please, go away! It's no use. I can't sleep. I dare not sleep. It's that same dream. Every night the same. But why? Why can't I stop talking aloud and delivering exposition to seemingly no one? What can it mean? I can't fight it alone. I need help. I've heard of a name, spoken in whispers. Doctor Strange. He dabbles in black magic. Perhaps he can help me. Or, you know, visit a therapist? A psychologist? A fucking doctor? I mean, anyone with some sort of degree that could help you? But sure, no, go to the man that dabbles in black arts. Seems perfectly reasonable. That reminds me, my shoulder has been killing me. I should really call that Woods Witch. The next morning, on a quiet side street in New York's colorful Greenwich Village, the man enters the home of Doctor Strange, proclaiming that he's here to see him. But he doesn't know me. The man that opens the door claims Doctor Strange knows all. Enter. But suddenly a tall, brooding figure appears, wearing a striking amulet at his throat. The cold gray eyes of Doctor Strange seem to pierce the mist of the room like a knife. He has a sick fog machine. The troubled man explains to Doctor Strange that every night he has the same dream, over and over. It's terrible. I can't stand it. He continues, It's always the same. A haunted figure, bound in chains, appears. It stares at me. It never stops. Never! Doctor Strange yells, Enough. Tonight I shall visit you. I shall find the answer to your dream. Now go! The man is baffled how Doctor Strange will do so, and he explains, By entering your dreams! Later, alone in his room, Doctor Strange sits silently in front of an ancient incense burner as his physical body goes into an eerie trance. It is time for me to visit the Master, from whom all my powers stem. His metaphysical spirit leaves his motionless body and drifts away. It travels high into the sky, across the vast ocean, across the continents, conquering all of time and space in its silent flight. Until finally, at a hidden temple somewhere in the remote vastness of Asia, here, Doctor Strange meets his master, who tells Doctor Strange that danger surrounds him. No shit, he dabbles in the black arts. You must be cautious, for my days are numbered, and it is you who will someday take my place in the battle against the forces of darkness and evil. Doctor Strange tells him he will heed his words and prove himself worthy of his trust. The master tells him to go, and should danger threaten, depend upon your magic amulet. That night, thousands of miles to the west, Doctor Strange is in his mortal form again, and he visits the man who sought his help. You must sleep now, and have no fear. I shall be nearby. The man replies, I don't know what there is about you. It gives a man a feeling of confidence. Is it the creepy eyebrows? The Dracula look? The fact that you're having a complete stranger that you know dabbles in the black arts watch you sleep tonight? I'd feel confident too. Confident you're about to be murdered. Minutes later, the man sleeps and begins to dream. Doctor Strange decides it's time to enter his trance. His body goes rigid and cold. The metaphysical spirit of Doctor Strange drifts upwards into the very dream itself, which unfurls before him. In the dream, Doctor Strange notices it's lonely, and then someone appears. The man in his sleep cries, No! No! Stay away! Please stay away! See, kids? This is what happens when you invite a strange man into your home to watch you sleep at night. Let this be a lesson. Doctor Strange approaches the man in chains, oh, asking him why he torments the man. The figure clad in chains responds, he well knows the reason why. Okay, place your bets on what this fucker did. I'm thinking maybe some cocaine, maybe some hookers, 
One day, he gets a little too out of control. He ends up hitting a stripper over the head with a chair. He buries her body out somewhere in the desert, and the man that's haunting her was the dad of the hooker, and then he ends up going on a quest for vengeance, and then the man that Doctor Strange is trying to help ends up killing the guy when he figures out that he killed his daughter while he was on a cocaine binge. What's your guess? I am the symbol of evil. The evil he has done. Eh? Eh? Cocaine? Hookers? We're getting there. The evil he has done. That is why I'm chained so. How does that explain why you're chained so? If he's the symbol of evil, and that guy's a straight up asshole, shouldn't he be on chain and, I don't know, frolicking through a meadow of dead puppies or something? Right? Right. He continues, and if you don't believe, ask Mr. Crane. Suddenly another form appears, far more menacing than the first. So, it is Doctor Strange. You have entered the dimension of dreams for the last time. Huh, your dreams are a new dimension. Today I learned, friends. Today I learned. Never again shall you thwart me. Nightmare, my ancient foe. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's back up the crazy bus. One, that shit just came out of the left field. Left field is my idiom for the week. I was told the other day that I was a fucking idiot because it was out of the right field, not out of the left field. It's not. It's out of the left field. We have fun here. Two. Why the fuck are you in another dimension where your ancient foe lives for some random stranger you don't even know who's claiming to have nightmares? You don't think maybe this is a fucking trap? You don't think, oh, hey, maybe I shouldn't be entering the nightmares of people I don't know because my ancient fucking foe lives there! What's going on, Doctor Strange? What's going on? Nightmare tells Doctor Strange, you know the rules of sorcery, Doctor Strange. Those who enter a hostile dimension must be prepared for it with their lives. So today, not only did I learn that dreams are another dimension, but that every time you enter that dimension, you must be prepared to pay for it with your life. I'm never sleeping again. Meanwhile, in a semi-dark bedroom, the sleeper awakes. He mentioned Mr. Krang. So that's what it's all about. There's Doctor Strange. He must have heard it all. He's in a trance. Helpless. It's just as well. He mustn't be allowed to live with what he has learned. What has he really learned? Some dude's name? He basically told Doctor Strange he's not going to tell him anything, he's not going to be a fucking narc, and that if you want to know anything, ask the man. So Doctor Strange knows Jack and or shit, or maybe both. I actually don't know how that saying goes. Maybe I should look that one up. God, now I'm going to get another I'm a fucking idiot comment. Anyways, you know, he doesn't know anything, but am I expecting rational thinking from a man that ends up hiring a fucking man that dabbles in the black arts to help him with sleep troubles not to murder someone in his own home? I don't even know if that sentence I just said made any fucking sense. <sighs> Shit. Behold, Doctor Strange, you went into a strange man's home and creepily watched him sleep and then entered his dreams, and now you're on protected mortal body. Its life is about to be snuffed out. Nothing can save you. Doctor Strange calls out to his master, asking for him. His master hears and concentrates through Doctor Strange's enchanted amulet. Doctor Strange's chest glows bright until the eye of the amulet opens and a blinding hypnotic ray shoots out, freezing the amazed human to the spot as his limbs grow strangely rigid. In that split second, Doctor Strange darts past his enemy in the dream dimension and makes it back to his own dimension. Nightmare calls after him. You've eluded me this time, but I shall get you yet. The next time you stupidly decide to help a stranger and enter the nightmare realm where your longtime foe is waiting. The amulet loses its blinding radiance and Doctor Strange is once again in his own body. Doctor Strange relieves the man of his weapon and his hypnotic sleep, telling him to speak only the truth. The man confesses. I was a fool to come to you. I didn't suspect my dreams were caused by the many men I'd ruined in business. Krang was the last of them. I robbed him, but he couldn't prove it. Now, now I'll confess. It will be the only way you will ever sleep again. Or, you know, therapy? Heavy sleeping medications? I'm just spitballing here, but, you know, seriously, you should probably see a legitimate medical doctor about your condition. Also, Doctor Strange still has shit on you. Crane couldn't even prove that you did it. He's got nothing. You need to pick the option that keeps you out of jail. Keep living your wildlife. 
keep going on those cocaine binges. So that is the first issue of Doctor Strange. Like I said, it's a little strange. Eh, eh, thumbs up, thumbs up, subscribe. But they actually don't get to his origin story till quite a few issues further into the Strange Tales comics. So besides that, make sure you come back for more comics videos, Star Wars videos, and Game of Thrones history.